The Ukrainian Air Force's best fighter jets just staged a daring raid on the Russian force occupying Ukraine's strategic Snake Island. The raid marks a significant escalation of Ukraine's air campaign targeting the Russian garrison on the island in the western Black Sea, 80 miles south of Ukraine's strategic port Odessa. For at least a week now, Kyiv's propeller-driven TB-2 armed drones have been waging a relentless defense suppression campaign over and around Snake Island. The satellite-controlled drones with their 14-pound missiles have knocked out at least three air defense systems on the 110-acre island as well as two Russian patrol boats and a landing craft along the shore. Destroying the air defenses, along with any naval vessels attempting to reinforce the tiny island, with its single pier, helicopter landing pad and dozen or so structures, cleared a path for the twin-engine, supersonic Su-27s to strike on or before Saturday. A TB-2 was nearby, watching with its gimbal-mounted camera, as the single-seat Sukhois, the Ukrainian Air Force's fastest interceptors, streaked low over the island dropping unguided bombs. Whatever Russian forces were left on the island after the drones did their work, the Su-27s apparently heavily damaged. The raid is striking, and not just because the Ukrainian Air Force committed nearly a tenth of its remaining Su-27s to pull it off. The high-speed bombing also underscored the ongoing collapse of the Russian Navy and supporting forces in the Western Black Sea. Three weeks ago a Ukrainian anti-ship missile battery sank the cruiser Miskiva, depriving the Russian Black Sea fleet of its biggest warship and its most powerful air defense asset. Bitter ground fighting continues in eastern Ukraine, with Russian forces slowly advancing west of Izium while Ukrainian forces advance farther north around Kharkiv. Ten weeks into Russia's wider war on Ukraine, the Russian army has yet to mount a sustainable offensive. But in the east, at least, the Russians aren't actively losing the war.